Yeah. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love, to Astro Phoenix, flying into the moment yet again and radiating love as always. And welcome, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising. For anybody who just wants to hang out with the Taurus tribe, the giants of the zodiac, welcome to your August 2019 report. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. And we have an interesting month ahead for everybody. I do believe that August is going to be a lot more um, light than Cancer season or July because July was a pretty heavy month. We had those major eclipses. Of course, we had that Mercury retrograde. Mercury is now direct, which is cool. It will be coming into Leo shortly. And this is going to be this amazing, incredible energy. You know, we're going to have the sun here for a good bit of the month. We're going to have Venus here. We're going to have Mars here. Definitely a lot of fiery, passionate energy coming up. And of course, these energies will shift into Virgo later on in the month. So this for you is going to be this dynamic between your fourth and your fifth house. And this is going to be um, as far as the Leo and the Virgo energy. So there's going to be this emphasis with the sun where it's going to be illuminating these aspects, your home, your family, your comfort zones, your emotions, in many ways, the way that you express your magic, you know, with that fourth house energy naturally ruled by cancer. And then, of course, we'll be shifting into Virgo, which is going to be talking about your reality and how to actually bring your joys into your reality and actually make manifest them. But anyways, we have some cards here for you all. I'm going to be drawing five tarot cards, one for each week of the month and an overall tarot card. And then we have two oracle cards to complement them as well. So let's get into it. I already have the card shuffled here. So we're going to go ahead and get these out. Oh, wow, I drew both of those cards at the same time. Some interesting dynamic between your third and fourth week. So let's see what we have here. So for your first Oracle card, wow, Taurus, we actually have the card of the moon. This is probably my favorite card in this particular deck. It, um, the deck, so it, it compromises of the four elements, the planets, and the signs. And the moon card is one of my favorite cards in the deck. You know, the moon is exalted in your sign. This means that this new moon in Leo that we have, which was on the 31st of July, but this is going to be very, very impactful for you. And then we also have a very powerful, very powerful full moon in Aquarius that will be occurring. This will be actually at 22 degrees. And what's interesting about that full moon is that this is actually going to be the day where Mercury comes out of its shadow. It will move to 5 degrees of Leo. But not only that, but the Sun and Venus will be conjunct in Leo at 22 degrees, making a king comes over to Pluto. Very, very powerful energy. Very positive energy. And I really do believe that this month for you, Taurus, is going to be this month where you really begin to emotionally realize that not only are you exactly where you need to be, but you are being set up for so much greatness. You know, Taurus, you're one of the most slept on signs. You guys are really, you really are kind of like these gentle giants. I call you guys the giants of the zodiac. And the reason why I do that is because in many ways, Taurus, yeah, traditionally you are ruled by Venus, so this is kind of a nice time with your traditional planet Venus being in Leo, your fourth house, so there's bringing a lot of this passion to your home life. But you guys are also ruled by the Earth. You are ruled by Mother Gaia. And in many ways, I like to think of the giants as these mythical creatures that are like these guardians of the Earth. It's like we can't really see them, but they are certainly here. They walk among us. And this moon card is saying that you know, emotionally, Taurus, you are one of the strongest signs. With the moon being exalted in your sign, you are one of the strongest signs. You are one of the most patient signs emotionally. I mean, Taurus, you can pop off. You know, you have areas as your 12th house, so you're no stranger to popping off, you know. But that doesn't mean that it's not coming from, you most of the time, a genuine and compassionate place because you really want everybody to feel the value and this um, amazing trust that you know is really here you want everyone to feel that value and sometimes it's hard for you to kind of bring that forward that's why you usually bring it forward with you know gifts or your you know Taurus is always associated with like money or even food like a guy if a Taurus cooks for you or like that if a Taurus cooks for you that's a really deep sign of love I'm just gonna <laughs> say that right now and um, those of you who are Taurus moon definitely pay attention throughout this reading and definitely pay attention this month because you are going to be really are 
tapping into what Mother Gaia and the Earth itself is feeling. Let's look at some of these other cards, though. For your first card, we do have the Three of Swords. What's interesting was that when I put this card down, it shifted to the side like it, it, it flipped. So what I see this as, you are finally turning the corner on a heartbreak that you experienced. I don't really see Taurus as actually suffering any heartbreaks, um, but there, might have, there may have been a previous heartbreak when it comes to romance. This is definitely possible considering that this is happening for you in your fourth and fifth house as far as where the sun's going to be. And of course, your ruling planet Venus will be here as well. So there definitely can be, you know, a past romantic relationship that didn't work out. Or this could be actually you dealing with trauma from your childhood. And, you know, this with Chiron right now being in Aries, your 12th house, this is definitely taking on a very spiritual nature. And the way to heal this trauma is actually through spirituality but spirituality looks different for everybody and especially with uranus in your sign this is giving you the opportunity to actually heal this aspect in very creative and unique ways ways that no one else probably has ever even thought of uranus is definitely gifting you with this um this tethering to this genius like quality that we all possess but you are really being affected by it right now so this is going to be pretty awesome, especially considering the fact that Uranus will be going retrograde this month as well. And this is actually going to turn a lot of that inward. So by the time that Uranus does come forward, some of you may even turn this healing modality into a sort of practice and maybe into a service that you can provide for others. But I really see this as you're no longer really pondering on what happened. You are actually are ready to turn the corner and to actually begin the healing process. Your next card we have is the King of Swords in reverse. This can be you dealing with an air sign, either a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. I'm definitely feeling more Aquarius vibes because that full moon is going to be powerful and it's going to be an Aquarius. And you did draw the moon card. But the King of Swords in reverse is saying to really listen to your own inner guidance as opposed to what someone else may recommend. That's not to say that we shouldn't show compassion and understanding for these individuals because these individuals can mean well. This King of Swords also coming after the Three of Swords can also be the person that you may have been involved with. And they may be wanting to kind of come back into your life in this moment and you really have to have discernment on whether or not to accept this individual. I'm not really seeing this as necessarily a bad thing when this person's coming back into your life or situation or circumstance, but you are kind of on guard. You are a little bit cautious about it. And maybe you're not, maybe the role that they play in your life in this moment will not be reflected of the role that they played before. It may take on a different note. It may take on a different song, uh, a different beat or rhythm. Let's see what else we have here though. We have the nine of wands in reverse as well. So the Nine of Wands in reverse is saying that you really actually do need to let your guard down, which is funny because, you know, with the King of Swords and the Three of Swords here, um, with the King of Swords reverse and the Three of Swords here, there's definitely this sort of remembrance of what happened before. But the Nine of Wands upright normally denotes preparing for battle or getting ready to duel it out with somebody. But with it being reversed, this is saying to actually let your guard down. You, there is a situation that could be coming back into your life that may you may begin to project onto this your ideas of what it can turn out to be. And this is natural based off of what's happened. But there's actually a gift here in the situation that's going to be coming forth. And we actually have the Eight of Pentacles. So when I drew these cards, the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles came out together. The Eight of Pentacles is one of my favorite cards. And this is an earthy energy, so you're going to like this. And what this is saying is that through hard work and determination, anything is possible. So it's like you really are, this is actually this moment where you are kind of letting your guard down and you're allowing this to come back into your life. And it's actually, it's going to turn out better this time. Um, not saying that, I mean, some of you may get back with an ex. Some of you may go back to a previous job that, you know, it didn't work out quite the first time. And it's like, you are a little worried about it. But that's the awesome thing about this is that, like I said, when I put the Three of Swords card down, the card turned. So you are turning a new leaf in many ways. So it's like you're kind of leaving the past behind and these preconceived notions of what can happen. And you're moving forward. 
the eight of but the eight of pentacles is saying that yeah there's going to be some hard work here and determination but if you remain and you have this streamlined focused on your goals anything is possible and you can achieve anything and then we also have the four of pentacles here too so this is actually in the terms of this reading is success because it's saying that you are actually going to create a better foundation for yourself moving forward and it's almost like there's this there's energies of letting go but also holding on to what i'm feeling is that what you're needing to let go of are these preconceived notions of what can happen you have to kind of let go and let god let goddess and then you have the four of pentacles it's going to be like you're going to be shown through the hard work and determination through that eight of pentacles energy and by trusting your intuition with the moon that you're going to create something that you can actually create a solid foundation on and it will help you to move forward I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's uh, someone who's like blowing leaves outside. <laughs> Your final card. Ooh, I love this. We have the card of alchemy. Let's see if I can let this person go by. They were out here yesterday. They're like right outside the door. <laughs> Let's see. Still there, they're still there, they're still there, they're still there, they're still there, hey. You know what? It's all good though. Because the card of alchemy, the frequency of alchemy, activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. This is incredible because you literally are transmuting the past and that's going to allow you to see the brilliant abundance of the now. And that's going to allow you to really feel and be aware that your vision is not forsaken, that you can move forward, that you can have the things that you want, that you can really manifest these joys and you can really step into that space every day, step into that sacred heart space. Alchemy is beautiful here because it's like you literally are taking these aspects of these past, these wounding, and you are actually gaining great healing from it. It's You actually are gaining this great clarity and there's just the pull of the card of alchemy, really, it's like you are really turning coal into gold. And that's like an amazing, beautiful thing. I feel like a lot of this for you is going to be along the mental realm where it's like these perhaps negative thought patterns and we all have negative thoughts every single day and it's not bad to have negative thoughts but when we ruminate on those negative thoughts when we allow those negative thoughts to take over our being it's hard for us to move forward it's hard to act accordingly or in accordance with our spirit what we really know to be true alchemy here though is going to allow you to turn those negative thoughts into gold and you're just going to be feeling on top of the world. I'm literally getting an image, and I'm a nerd, but I'm getting the image of like, you know, a, a like, you know, somebody, usually it's Giovanni, whatever like that, that has the Persian and Pokemon, but like, you know, just imagine yourself sitting on a chair with, I get, it can be coins, it can be money, it can be bags of money, it can be flowers, it can be whatever it is that makes you feel valuable. And then you're just sitting in this chair, you're sipping on whatever your favorite drink is, you're relaxing in the sun, and you're petting your Persian or whatever Pokemon that you want, or it can be whatever animal that you want, and you're just like, wow, this is serene, this is beautiful. I'm so glad that I trusted my, I'm so glad that I trusted my emotions. I'm so glad that I trusted my deeper intuition because I was able to turn this situation into something so much more positive that is it for your reading taurus i hope that you all enjoyed it if you did please like share and subscribe i would really appreciate it make sure you hit that bell to receive all the notifications that i put out on this channel and if you would like a personal reading with me beloved you can follow the link in the description below to astrophoenix.com and as always my beautiful brothers and sisters always remember to keep moving forward to stay focused and Yahoo! Smile often.